What's up, YouTube family? It's your girl, Emma, and I'm back with a lunch video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyway, listen up. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? Everybody's doing good? Good. Everybody's doing good. All right, y'all. So, listen up. I'm at work, and I'm having... Uh, it's my lunch break, all right? I'm not going to eat anything today for lunch. I don't... I'm not really, I don't really have an appetite to eat, so I'm not going to eat nothing. So listen, I'm making this video because I want to talk about, I was on a panel um, this week, and the discussion was why men cheat. And the, the thing was, men cheat because, what was it, what did she say? Men cheat because, dang, I can't remember what she said, why men cheat. So I joined the panel, right? And uh, so it was an open discussion for anybody to want to discuss why men cheat. So I said, I posed the question, why do they cheat? Not the reason why they cheat, but why do they cheat? So a lot of guys was on the panel and they were saying it was a sport. Yeah, some of them were saying it was a sport. Some of them were saying, some, some of them were saying it was the chase. It was because it was the opportunity. It was a whole bunch of things they were saying, but I know one of them was said because it was the chase, it was a sport, and that um, they wanted to try new stuff, in other words, right? Now, I want to hear from y'all. Why do you all think me, man, cheat? I said, this is what I said in the discussion. I said men cheat because they have no self-control. That's what I believe. Now, it could be a variety of things why men cheat. I don't know, you know, whatever. So I said, I think it's, it's a lack of self-control. That's what I really think it is. You know, just because you see a pretty face, a pretty body, does that mean you have to go lay up with it because the person is pretty and you think that they got a nice body or whatever, whatever the reason is why you're attracted to the person. Now, I did say this too. Now, if you're married, why would you then turn to cheat on your wife? Now, men can give all the excuses in the world why they cheat. Oh, she wasn't giving it to me. Oh, she wasn't paying me enough attention. You know, all that basic stuff, right? But the truth of the matter is, men have no self-control. That's what I think. Now, I want to know what you all think. I think they don't have self-control. That's what I really think. I don't think it's about... Um, Oh, well, she's fine looking, or she has a nice body, or opportunity to present it itself, or I wanted to try something different. Now, when you say you wanted to try something different, that's telling me one thing. You have no self-control. So how would you feel if your wife felt the same way about you? What if your wife said, well, hmm, I want to try something different, or it's boring, Oh, I, I'm used to that. It's not doing it for me anymore. How would you feel that you was in love with your wife? Or even your girlfriend. Let's say if you was in love with your girlfriend. And if she went out and stepped out on you, how would you feel? No, seriously, how would you feel about that? I mean, you truly, truly love this person. Because see, to me, love would keep you from cheating on your wife or your girlfriend. That's just my opinion. That's not everybody's opinion. Because a lot of the men in the panel were saying love didn't have nothing to do with it. Now, if love didn't have anything to do with it, that means you have no self-control. That's what it means. If love ain't got nothing to do with it. See, love will stop you from doing a lot of stuff. But your urge to do it, your urge to try something different, or your urge because it presented itself to you, and you decide to take her up on her offer just to feed your own ego you have no self-control and self-control is very important in a lot of things that's why a lot of people are obese that's why we have alcoholics that's how why we have people that are, are, are addicted to drugs because a self-control before you became an alcoholic if you had a little bit of self-control i wouldn't have been there if you had a little self-control over yourself you probably wouldn't be addicted to drugs 
Now, given the fact that a lot of people have very reasons why they turn to drugs and alcohol due to personal reasons, whatever that is, whether it be someone, your loved one died on you or you was uh, mentally and physically abused, so you turn to this substance to, um, to numb yourself, put it to you like that. Now, there are various reasons why people become to be alcoholics, drug addicts, sex addictions, and all of that good stuff, right? But the question is this, why do men cheat? Uh, what cause? Don't. See that? Women are too. Women are too. No. No, nah, they not all men. No. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> women cheat just like men cheat. That's oh, true, but well, it takes two. That's right. So why do men cheat? If they don't, if they're not keeping themselves up to par, just like vice versa, he has to keep himself up to but par. But what about, what about love, though? You got to love you to order to want to cherish you. And so if you want, you. if you're gonna cherish me, why would you cheat on me? If I you would. Love I don't cherish you. Thank That's you. You hear it. You hear it. Now this is coming from a man, y'all. Yeah, you got to cherish the so person. So when you lose the love and the cherish, so then you're gonna cheat. Well, why not just divorce? Well, why? Why would you Why would I be with you if I don't plan on loving and cherishing the rest of my life? So but why would you cheat? That, that's the point. If I'm going to marry you, mm -hmm. and I the Bible tells me, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and favor of the Lord. Right. God don't have to tell you to marry me. Right. But you just married me because you yep. love me. But if I find you, I'm pulling you in to marry me. Okay. See, this is how this works. Okay. I'm looking for a wife. Okay. You ain't looking for a husband. You don't supposed to look for one. Let God bring you a husband. When he That's bring true. you when he brings you. Can I see you? You see yourself on here? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Handsome in the face and finding a way for somebody's taste. But uh but, Okay. <laughs> but when he finds you I wanna make sure they can see you because I can't see. Uh, okay. But when they find you, uh -huh. when he finds you, uh huh, and he finds his good thing. So when he finds a good thing, why why would you still cheat? Bone. Well, he, he, the nigga ain't right. Y'all heard it him now. It have to be a church man. Okay. Somebody that loved the Lord. Okay. The Bible tell me to love my wife as Christ loved love the, the church. Love the church. And That's right. And for the church. Okay. So I would die for my wife. All right. But see, it's hard to tell because it's vice versa. Right. You got men are acting crazy and you got right. women you got, are acting it takes crazy. Two. Right. That's right. Okay. But if what God joined together. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't marry somebody that's you unequally yoked with them. Right. You got to be yoked up with them. Right. Why would you marry somebody that's not in the church? Okay. And you in the church, but he out there partying and drinking and smoking. Right. It ain't gonna mix. That's right. It ain't gonna that's mix. That's right. But we speaking for the brothers that's out here that are not in the church. Because most of them that's not in the church. You all leave them alone. Y'all heard it, didn't you? Uh -huh. No, this ain't live. This is a video. I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Check my channel out. It's the Montgomery Family Channel, Emma. And you're going to be on it. All right. I'm Elder Darrell Robinson. Elder Darrell Robinson. All right. From the Kinley Temple Church of God Kenley. in Christ. All right. All right. All right. But anyway, God okay. bless you. I got to right. go do my part. I, th I thank you so much for your opinion on it. Now, y'all heard that, right? Okay. Y'all heard that. All right. Now, like I was saying, now he raises a good point, but see, I'm speaking for the men. Now, there, there are some brothers now that are saved and, and are here dipping and dabbing too. Now, let's just keep it all the way real. Y'all, hey, there are some brothers out here dipping and dabbing too. Come on, let's walk. I feel like walking after that. All right. But there are some brothers out here dipping and dabbing too. But I was speaking for the brothers that are not saved. Listen, fellas, listen, listen. Now, I know y'all going to do what y'all do anyway. Y'all not going to listen to no woman telling y'all when y'all want to have these little urges, want to go on your little splurgeons and all of that good stuff. And that's another thing, too, y'all. What they call this thing, polygamy, where you can have all these multiple, multiple wives. Now, see, people want to get biblical. They want to go to the Bible. Well, you know, back, back in the Old Testament, they had these many wives. We ain't dealing with the Old Testament. We're dealing with the New Testament. Okay? We're dealing with the New Testament. In the New Testament, God said you only have one wife and one husband. Not multiple wives, not multiple husbands. Let's get that straight, okay? You have one wife, one husband. Y'all better stop playing with me, okay? Y'all better stop playing with Sister Emma. Yeah, and you too. Uh-huh, you know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. For all you brothers out here talking about you know because we want to try something new something different and all that stuff you're going to get yourself hurt you're going to get yourself caught up so stop it 
if you got a woman and you got a wife, stick with the one woman, stick with the one wife. And if you don't want to no know more, divorce her or leave her alone. Okay? You're only obligated to be faithful to a woman if you're married to him. But, you know, society, we have gotten society to so just like this, y'all. If we're going together, we're shacking together, we're living in a place together. So that makes you mine and I'm yours. But for me, I feel like this. Until you put a ring on this finger, see that? Let me, let me shine that on there for y'all to see that. See that? See that? Now I'm obligated. I'm obligated to you. I'm not supposed to be out here dipping and dabbing on you. You're my husband. Y'all better stop playing. All right, now y'all heard the elder. Y'all heard the preacher. Telling y'all what to do, men. Okay? So y'all weigh in on and let me know what you think about men out here cheating on their woman and a woman out here cheating with the man. Now, I'm gonna I'm do a video on the woman out here cheating too. I'm not gonna just blame it all on the brother because the take two. Brother can't mess around with himself. He gotta have somebody to mess around with, which would become a woman, okay? Look, y'all. I don't have time for these little games I heard the brothers be playing, making up all these yang yang excuses of why they cheating, why this, that, and the other. You know, stop it. Stop it. If it's too much for you to be faithful, just stay single. Just stay single. Do you. Do you and, and, and all the single women and everybody else. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to go to hell for it. Okay? Yeah, I tell you. That. Yeah, I said it. You're going to go to hell for it. <laughs> now, let me find another brother and get his opinion on why men cheat. Maybe I need to ask another sister why she think men cheat. Hey sis, how you doing? I'm doing a video on why men cheat. Now I just got a brother's uh, opinion about why men cheat. Why you do you mind being on camera? I'm on video, I'm, make, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber first of all. Why you think men cheat? I won't put you on if you don't want to be on camera. No, I don't want to be on camera. Okay, why you think men cheat? She don't want to be on camera, so we're not going to put her on camera. Because they don't want to be committed. Because they don't want to be committed. That's what she think. I think that too. Because I think if they wanted to be committed, they wouldn't cheat. See, I was thinking more like this. If you in love with me and I love you, you wouldn't cheat on me. But they they say, in the panel that I was in the discussion with, they were saying love didn't have nothing to do with it. They say they love their wives, they love their girlfriends. But yet, they went out and had, you know, did to do with somebody else. But if you love me, how you gonna love me you knowing to do with somebody else? Does that make sense? How does that work? Did the roles change? Did society change? So, because they don't want to be committed. That's why they cheat. And I'm not gonna show y'all because she didn't want to be saying. But this is what my other sister said. That's what she thinks. Y'all weigh in on it because my break is just about over. And let me know why y'all think these brothers out here cheating on the sisters. Besides, like I said, they're obvious. Oh, she wasn't paying attention to me. Oh, she wasn't keeping the house clean. Oh, she wasn't washing my clothes. She wasn't washing the dishes. That ain't got nothing to do with you cheating on me. Sleeping with another woman. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Because as far as I'm concerned, you can wash your own dishes. You can make up your own bed. You can cook your own meal. Now what? Now that you did all that for yourself, why are you cheating? Because you have no self-control. Oh, I can hear somebody saying now some other brother probably because he didn't want your son, son. What if you don't want me, walk, step. If you don't want me, step then. Why keep, why keep saying that you mine and you belong to me and y'all here dipping and dabbing? What if you don't want the sister and you don't want to be married, step. Step into somebody else's life that's going to put up with that. We ain't going to talk about Kevin Samuel. I was going to bring him up in this discussion, but I'm going to bring Kevin Samuel's rule of thought, what he thinks that women, we should get used to that. We should get used to our men, whether it's your husband, your boyfriend, your boo, your mom, your baby's daddy, whatever. We should get just used to it because men are going to cheat. I beg the difference. Now, for a fact, who I know that's not cheating on their wives is my bishop. And my pastor. And my men in their house in their bedroom, I ain't got to be. I know without a shadow of a doubt, those two men are not cheating on their husband, on their wives. And they're married. 
like I said, am I in their business? Am I in their house, in their bedroom? They know for a fact that they're not cheating? No, but I see the life that they live before me that they're not cheating on their wives. Y'all better stop playing with me. So I'm gonna keep telling y'all. Y'all better stop playing with system, okay? Right. All right, y'all. So y'all weigh in on it. Let me know what you think. Y'all heard the elder, what he was saying, okay? So weigh in and tell me why you think men cheat. You know, because back in the day, it used to be that the woman wasn't giving them enough attention. You know, they wasn't listening to them. That's what it used to be back in the day. But now the sisters are listening, paying attention. We're doing everything right. So why are you still out here cheating? Because you have no self-control. And the Bible speaks about that. The Bible tells us to come to come together because of the lack of self-control. Now I will have I will admit y'all, and I'm gonna let y'all go. And one um in in the panel discussion, one of the guys has said that it wasn't because he didn't love his wife, because he loved his wife. He loves his wife, he has a family, he loves his wife. You know, it was just that the urges that he had, and that's when I come into the self-control. He said he did it because it was the urge that he, he had in him that makes him want to, you know, if he see a, a pretty woman, nice body and all that good stuff, it's the urge that he had to do it. You know, it has nothing to do with what he didn't love his wife. He said he loved his wife, you know, but it's just that the urges that men have that opportunity presents itself to them that if somebody's willing to, to do that with them, they're going to do it. So that's what I say. I think it's a lack of self-control and women as well. You know, I think women sometimes can lose a little, a little bit of self-control too. But anyway, my break is over. So I'm going to put this video up today and you guys let me know what you think in the comments about, about why do men cheat? Okay? Alright, y'all. So, until next time, everybody, I'll see everybody on the next vlog. Alright? Smooches to everybody. Alright, boo. I'll see you later when I get home. <laughs> y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>